Morning Thailand supported by Si Thai Superwear. Wings Learning Circle, customized English course for your business. Welcome back to the program. You are watching Morning Thailand with Tulip and Golf. Mm -hmm. And of course, in this break, we'll talk about something a little brighter mm -hmm. than any other news today. That's true. So <laughs> coming in November, there is this one big festival that actually Thailand famous for. And a mm -hmm. lot of tourists just book um, place hotels. to stay mm -hmm. and the hotels and such in this particular month because they want to join in Lai Tong Festival mm -hmm. in Thailand. Lai Tong actually date back, they claim to start since Koh Thai time, mm -hmm. very, very like probably thousand years back, that it start off with the uh, people want to pay respect to the Buddha mm -hmm. with that little uh, floating lantern to the river and uh, also want to pay respect to the goddess of the river, mm -hmm. also. So it has become the news because uh, we are officially in the morning period of the Supreme Patriarch. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, Tourism Authority of Thailand, Thailand has announced that they want to postpone the celebration itself. It's supposed to be in the full moon night of November, which this year will be the 17th of November. This is not a national holiday, but it's a national celebration right. every year. Um, You're not going to get a holiday out of it. <laughs> yes. Tourism Authority of Thailand hasn't said yet that uh, when will be the uh, official celebration, but uh, the hotel is already fully booked because of this festival itself. Mm -hmm. So that's why the uh, Bangkok Metropolitan Administration decide not to postpone any celebration, mm -hmm. but they will cut off all the entertainment activities. They will still hold all this festival in the um, Bangkok owned operated 28 public park in the capital, especially the one along the uh, all the ones along the Jao Phraya River Bank and also the big one will be under the Rama 8 bridge. And um, they hasn't made the final decision about the date yet, but uh, all in all, initially, it will not be canceled, but it will be uh, cut out a lot of entertainment factors mm -hmm. because normally they will have some kind of uh, mini concert along those parks. And uh, the usual thing we will see, we will see the beauty pageant for the Lai Tong itself. True. We have pageant in almost every festival yes. at this point. And Ooh. normally they will have some kind of uh, parade mm -hmm. after they get the winner of mm -hmm. the beauty pageant. It will be done uh, before the Lai Tong time and normally they will have the uh, parade to mm -hmm. go I wonder if we're still going to have a lot of fireworks and such. Yes, that would be strange, isn't it? If mm -hmm. we are doing the moon period, we not. I don't think it's it's right to have well. some firework. And talking about beauty pageant, even Miss Thailand this year has postponed their uh, competition to be okay. the end of November itself to uh, to avoid the morning period. Okay, so a lot of people. Actually, we've seen quite a bit of as you these days because I've mentioned before that you're gonna have to don black. Mm. In, in terms of showing your respect and you know morning period mm. and such, but um, you you can still have kind of peaceful floating yes. festivities and such for this because technically you're supposed to pay respect to the river of goddess and sometimes you seem to forget that the initial purpose exactly. is not is not to jumping up and down and mm -hmm. all and dancing all that stuff the initial purpose to pay respect to all to the deities mm -hmm. of the uh, rivers and to the buddha so maybe this is not such a bad thing and a lot of people believe that they could probably float away their bad luck yeah, you're supposed to like maybe clip a little bit of your nails hair as well hair. As, ta as nails and some even put in money into yes. the float itself and then just float it down to the river and there will be little kids grab those float and take your money. We might not <laughs> see as much firework this year. Yeah. Those so. kids. <laughs> All right. So moving on to another interesting, as you can see earlier, we talk about the float that made out of the 
banana trees. Actually, it's entire banana trees were used for this particular float. Yes, when we true. make a float, the, the stalk one. itself, right? You cut it down right in the middle. You put the banana leaves to the and side. And some flowers. And some, some flowers candles. and such. But in the northern part of Thailand, same festival, mm -hmm. but celebrated differently. Instead of using one of those floating mm -hmm. in the water, they actually have a lantern that float up instead. Oh. And you probably have seen a lot, and the footage just showed the, the one of the big white one. Now, it's the balloon-shaped type, and it's made out of the paper, mm -hmm. and normally have wax inside and some kind of a candle. And as you can see there, it would go up into the sky, just light up the sky and make it very, very beautiful. And there has been a talk already that this year in um, Chiang Rai, province, um, especially in the Chiang San district um, of Chiang Rai, Kun Virasak Siri Sit, who is the um, governor of Chiang San district, has came out and said that there will be a festival during the 13th, starts since the 13th, so mm -hmm. a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. all the way to the 17th of November. So if you're interested in you know, experience just something a little bit different, mm -hmm. not a floating in the river, that but so up in beautiful. the sky instead. You are welcome and advised to actually visit Chiang Rai province. Mm -hmm. Of course, during this time, they're probably going to have to have the certain time that mm -hmm. the plane is not flying in True. the area. It too. has become issues everywhere. Right, because it got caught up. Right, with the airport. Exactly. Now they say that at this point, this particular festival will be held, as I said, from the 13th to the 17th. And um, they are trying to get all the northern provinces um, to get together and work together. There will be a lot of tourism. Um, especially focus on the northern culture and such and mm -hmm. arts. Um, there will be a tour for visiting various temples in the province, um, tour to visit various historical sites, as well as um, floating in the water itself. The, so they're going to have the, the water float as well um, mm -hmm. in the Mekong River. So they say that they are ready for this particular event. And if anyone interested, um, Chiang San District is more than happy to welcome you starting from November the 13th to the 17th. I have done that a couple of times and it, it's exciting every time to just see whether it's going to float up or pretty. not. I know, it's very pretty. Can it not float up? I don't know, but <laughs> it's, it's all you automatically think that there's a chance that it will just flop. Oh. But it's flo it has been floating up every time. Yeah, so <laughs> you know, give it a try and I think it's best to, to do that during the festival mm. in an open area. I have seen some people oh, in, yes. in my real uh, housing real estate trying to do it and it's ended up caught up in the electrical wire, um, which did not end very well. So it's scary. almost t set fire to entire real estate housing. Just, just be careful. Exactly. Just make sure it's out in the open area. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the wrap for this episode of Morning Thailand. Thanks everyone for watching and we'd like to thank our sponsor too. Mm -hmm. See Thai Superwear Quality The World Trust as well as Wings Learning Circle Customized English Course for your business. And you can check out every episode playback on youtube.com slash morning thailand, facebook.com slash morning thailand or you can email us about maybe other art and cultures you yeah. want us to tell you about or other health um, issues related mm -hmm. you want us to tell you about at morningthailandshow at gmail.com. Any recommendation is welcome. Mm -hmm. And uh, until we see you tomorrow, I am Tulip Naksumpop. I'm Wanathan Kerhol. Sawadee